Welcome to Office 2010 video number 47. Hey, we've been talking about Access and we're still using our wooden crafts file. I have the wooden crafts finished file, but you guys just have the wooden crafts. This is a database we've created and managed over the last six videos. In this last video, we just want to quickly see how to export data. In our second video we saw how to import from Access and the textbook shows how to import from Excel. They're basically the same couple of clicks in a wizard. Here we want to take our inventory value query. Remember this we have a formula in the query. We created it. It's calculating based on our raw data. We want to be able to export this. No problem. You simply come to the external data and in the export group click to Excel. Now, very common that you want to send to Excel because everyone has Excel. Not everyone has uh, access or knows how to use it. So I'm going to select a location. It'll create a new Excel workbook. I'm going to save it to our class notes. So I'm going to 216 class notes and then access. All right, so there's the file name, the file extension. I'm going to click Save. All right, and so there we go. Export data with format and layout. You could. I'm not going to. I'm going to keep it just as plain data coming in. So click OK. You could save your steps if you're going to repeat it. I'm not going to. I'm going to close it. And now over here, there's my inventory value. So just like that, right? So you have this huge database, and you only want to analyze some data in Excel. You know, you have your regular query that just calculates the answer. Boom, there it is. All right, and then let's close this. I'm going to save it. And of course, we also could send it to PDF. Totally important in this day and age. Uh, it's already got the right location. There it is. There it is. I'm going to click Publish. It's taken a while as it creates it here. And then we can go, and there it is. There's our preview. Totally awesome. So from access to PDF. I'm going to close this, go over here. So and then there's our PDF. We can open that and give that and attach it or whatever. Finally, there is one other very important export option. And it's a text file. And the reason why is not you know, we can export directly to Excel and to PDF, but there's lots of other systems that we cannot directly export to. And so this is an awesome option. And then this option is listed, has been around for years and years so that various computer applications can talk with other computer applications. You save it, you, you select a table, save it as a text file, and then you import it. So I'm going to click here. It's got that right location. I'm going to click uh, OK. It looks like this. This is called comma separated. The comma is a delimiter. Delimiter just means what is the data separated by. Absolutely an important trick to have in your arsenal so that you can export it as comma separated and then, and then import this into whichever program you want. I'm going to click Next. Um, comma is the delimiter. I'm going to click Next. I'm going to click Finish. And then I'm going to click Close. Go over here and take a look. So there it is right there. Now when you open it up, you know, it's just silly. Ah, but it's not silly because this is awesome. Now this can be imported into any system. Now I'm going to open up Excel and import it and just show you how, uh, you know, most programs have this ability to import comma separated or tab separated data. All right, so data in the get external data from text. And then you have to navigate to wherever your file is. And this is one of the most useful tricks around because it just gives you the ability for systems to uh, talk with each other or to get data from one system to another even though they can't directly communicate. So there it is. Dot txt, I'm going to double click and, oops, 
Now, this is the text import wizard inside of Excel, but there's that word delimited. This, there's three steps, and it's easy. Just, hey, is it delimited or fixed width? Fixed width just means it's a certain number, certain amount Y, but we have delimited. Now, you could see a preview down here, comma, comma. So I'm going to just say delimited because I know that a delimiter means it's the thing separating the data. Click Next, and then here you get to decide. Now, watch this. Here's the preview comma and there you go and by the way this is also very helpful you can have anything separate any character right an equal sign or whatever but for us we have a comma instantly we have a preview we can click next we can actually format it or in this step you can skip you can actually select a column and then say skip and then the word skip will be there I'm not gonna well I am gonna skip that all right, and you could format it. Um, actually, I'm not going to skip it. I'm with that selected. Come back up here to General, General, and then click Finish. It says, "Where do you want to put it?" Right there. Sure. All right, so obviously you can dr export directly to Excel, but I just wanted to show you that almost all systems have the ability to import a text file like that. Okay, so that's our last video for Access exporting data out out of Access. In our last video, next video, we'll see how to do mail merge, some awesome uh, things you can do between Access Excel and Word. All right, see you next video.